The length of a school year could soon change in Wisconsin. There is a bill in the state legislature that would do away with what's called the 180-day rule that requires students to be in class 180 days a year. Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht has balanced coverage on how this could affect schools, students, and parents. The state legislature could allow school districts to adjust how many days students are in class. Senator Luther Olson introduced the bill. Especially this year, it's sort of interesting because of all the snow days and really the cold days, uh, people are looking at saying, okay, uh, we have the hours, do we really need to keep going in the middle of June? Currently, schools have required hours of instruction that range anywhere from 437 to over 1,100 hours, depending on the level. Schools also must be in session for 180 days. Under Olson's bill, the number of hours stay, the day rule would be erased. The Pulaski School Superintendent hopes the bill passes. The district has four weather cancellation days to work around this year. It applied for a waiver through the state for one of those days. It would make the uh, waiver completely unnecessary, and I'm sure for other districts it would also give them the opportunity of not having to extend the school year. The bill goes to the assembly next. Some Democrats, like Representative Eric Genrick, don't support it. He said he is concerned that it will allow for rural school districts to dramatically reduce the number of days that some of our children attend classes. Educators say fewer days in school buildings could save money, but too long of school days could be unproductive. Parents we spoke with say they see conflict either way if the 180-day rule stands or if it's taken away. You're either going to cut into school vacation times and whatever their summer plans are, their sports, or if you're going to mess with the school day and it's going to change day to day toward the end of the school year, that makes it hard to get anything else done during the day. If the bill passes, it could be signed into law by the end of the month. Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. State School Superintendent Tony Evers says he supports getting rid of the 180-day 180 180 day rule.